Hey everybody, this is Lance Dammeyer. Some of you know me as the loan driver for Bank of England Mortgage. Yes, I do mortgages, but today I'm gonna to offer you another service. I'm gonna talk about uh, pool pumps. As you can see in the background, our pool is looking pretty green. That would be because if you pan over here, our pool pump is on the fritz. And this has been a little bit of a uh, enigma, this pool pump. It's probably one of the better pumps you can buy. It's a Haywood Super Pump. It's a one and a half horsepower. Um, we do not have a timer on this pump, so it runs all of the time. Um, it was installed exactly three years ago last week, and exactly three years to the date last week, I started having problems. So let me tell you what was happening and how we can troubleshoot through it. What was happening is the breaker started to throw, but it wasn't the breaker that was out by the pool equipment. It was the breaker inside the house, the 40 amp breaker. And I would come outside, I, the pump wasn't making any noises that were odd, it wasn't vibrating odd, it just would flip at really strange times. Um, I got out a laser pointer and I started shooting uh, uh, at the uh, pump here because I wanted to see if it was overheating and I was surprised to see that it was between 170 and 190 degrees in the sun. I'm like, oh my gosh, the pump's burning up. Uh, so I immediately made a little tent to put over it to keep it cool and I put a fan on it, which doesn't make any sense because most people don't do that. And then I went inside and read a little bit and I learned that Hayward pumps run very hot. Um, so then I just, I wanted to start recording how fast it would blow, et cetera. And it, it didn't make any sense. Sometimes it would go two hours and blow. Sometimes it would go a day and a half and blow. Uh, so in the meantime, what I did, if you pan over this direction, is I went ahead and I bought a new Harris pump. I'm pretty excited about this Harris pump because it's a variable speed and it also uh, has different schedules I can set it for. So either a, t a 16 hour or a 24, the variable speed is 1500, uh, I believe 2450 or then super high speed. But anyway, let's go ahead and talk back to this pump. So I, I bought the new pump and I took this one out and I made a discovery, which is pretty, uh, it's pretty concerning. This was installed by a pool company here in uh, Franklin, Tennessee. Um, I wanna show you what they did. Um, when I took this apart, I cut it off, I removed the fittings, and I turned it over. And the first thing I noticed was this little piece of plastic sticking out of the bottom here. When I popped off the cover, as I started to take it off, if you can see right there, the black burnt look, I knew exactly what was wrong. And I also knew that I was really lucky that I hadn't been electrocuted when I was fooling around with this thing. That being said, somebody, when they installed this pool and wired it, put this cover on and then jam this off. If you can see here, this has been burning. You can see the black soot mark right here. The light's not really good. Let me get closer on it. It literally burned a hole in, it burned a hole in it. And so this is a, this is 230 volts or 220 volts that's running through this. It's on a, it's on a double pole breaker. So, me fooling around with it, trying to figure out why it was breaking. Keep in mind, this was underneath the pump. So someone, when they put this cover on, they did it wrong and then they pounded it on. I had to pound this off with the hammer. And if you also look really closely, you can see that there is a hole blown all the way through the wire. And there's the wire, the hole is, it's, it's completely burned in half. So basically what it did is it vibrated for three years until it wore through. So the moral of the story here is you wanna make sure that you have a good installation done on this pump. Um, when someone installs it, you probably shouldn't have, probably shouldn't do it yourself and you should make sure you have a professional do it. Um, so what we have here is I've got a good pump and there's really nothing wrong with this pump. So what I'm going to do, what I'm gonna do is rewire this pump and put it back in. I'm gonna go ahead and keep the Harris pump and uh, I'll probably install it after this season is over because I'm gonna to have to change some of the dimensions so again, what happened with this pump? It isn't really bad. Whoever installed it jammed one of the hot legs between the casing and the cover for the motor. And after three years, it wore through and basically made this case live. And thank goodness for circuit breakers. Circuit breakers save your lives, um, our lives. Uh, the 40 amp circuit breaker kept uh, flipping. I'm gonna rewire this thing and we'll get it back in. Um, if you ever have a pool problem, please be very careful and make sure you hire a professional. Thanks, it's a lemon driver.